Hello everyone, it is that random dude and today I'll be um, doing a sort of interesting video this time. Today I'll be showing off how to run PS2 ELF files on your PS Vita. Now what you're going to need for this is the play emulator here and your your play folder in your UXO folder in your UXO directory right here. Now basically what this is, it's not an actual PS2 emulator. There's a disclaimer. This isn't a real PS2 emulator. This is solely for playing, sorry for basically booting up very basic ELF files. So yeah, um, wait, I have one right here. Now you need to, now um, the person who made this is called um, Zerpy or XRP, I'll put it on screen. And basically, um, originally had to compile it, but I downloaded the one that's pre-compiled, and you can download the one in the description below, so check that out. And essentially, you have to rename, you have to rename whatever ELF file you have to cube.elf. That will essentially make it work, I don't know why, don't ask me. I suppose ask the creator, but yeah, so you got to make the play folder, capital P. And yeah, but with that said, and that's pretty much installation. Uh, you can grab whatever ELF file you want, but it's very experimental. Like a lot of them will give you a white screen. The one I'll show you will work. So let me just start up. Here's a blank icon to so keep that in mind. You can say like starting game, and there it is. It's a teapot. It's very simple, but um, yeah. Um, if I had an FPS camera, it would probably be like 20 FPS. It is very slow because, well, this is a very basic aim layer. It's not really anything groundbreaking, but yeah, obviously if you do, if you press a D-pad here or any of the face buttons, it will like move your sort of picture what makes it weird. Uh, if you press X, it will crash. Just like that. Um... So yeah, it is very experimental. Um, some guy um, in the comments of one of those on one of those PS2 videos said that they were able to get the PS2 Tetris ELF file to run. So I'll grab. Um, I'll use a different one this time. So let me just quickly rename this so it doesn't conflict. Let's change it to that. Let me grab this cube or ELF. Play. So yeah, it's simply just called Play. Now you can actually download the Play emulator on Android and other platforms, but it's very laggy. And on PS Vita, it is absolutely crap. Yeah, and there it is. Just, it, this time it's a cube. It runs much more smoothly, but to be fair, that's only because it's extremely basic. So. Yeah, this isn't anything amazing. It's not like a whole PS2 emulator where you can play GTA on it. Or you can play GTA San Andreas on the Vita, but... Yeah, it's very simple. It's very... It's pretty much a proof of concept, to, to be fair. So yeah, and there's not really much you can do with it. I mean, even the icon's blank, but... Yeah, that was just a quick showcase of the, um... Play emulator. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Like there hasn't been any new updates on it or anything. It's just all been just like a redundant project, so don't really have your hopes up high for it. But with that said, um make sure you guys like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel and um yeah be sure to um check out my other PS Vita tutorials because I will be doing more PS Vita tutorials, and yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video, see ya.